before we get on with the third episode, on a serious note, the, the fish, I don't know, this uh, cigar is not the greatest. Really? It's a good quality cigar, I can tell you, but to the fish's liking, I don't know, you just can't get a good hit. I mean, we just started, I was like, this bit's bigger. Like a little bit of a uh, homey style, John Holmes style, I mean, you know, a little shorter. We gotta get to like, here, maybe we'll kick better. But... <laughs> You know what I hate? When a cigar starts burning exclusively in the center. Oh, and it starts to fucking do weird burns? Yep. Yeah, it's an uneven burn. I mean, I hate that too. That's why I was trying to be careful today before going gusta because I fucked, you know, here on the show where I've had, you know, canoeing and that. <clears throat> but, um, I mean, it's, what is this cigar? I mean, it's a good brand. I mean, I did think I read about this one. La Gloria Cubana. I don't know. Oh, what, oh so how many times do you smoke cigars? Just twice. Well, with, oh. Just on oh. my own. Once oh. in, uh, in uh, Elkley. And the other time walking around Reykjavik. So, because you go with another couple... Was there a chance when I'm like, hey, I'm just going to step out, look, yeah. look around? Yeah, basically. How long were you gone for when you had your personal time? About an hour. Go for a drink kind of thing. Uh, are, they, are they whacking distance from shit? Can yeah. you walk to a yeah, pub? Yeah, you from... can walk to a pub from there. I mean, dude, we were in Reykjavik. We, we were down the street from Embassy Row, so, I mean, there was, there was a lot within walking distance. But Reykjavik is not that big of a town, dude. It's like downtown Chula Vista. You can walk across it like in a couple of hours. That's the big city, right? That's their big city, yeah. Wow. And it's the size of base. I saw this over like you guys were on a hill taking a picture of it. I didn't see big buildings. Nope. Downtown San Diego is a bigger city than oh, yeah. Reykjavik. Oh, yeah. Much bigger. But um, Downtown Chula Vista <clears throat> is a bigger city than Reykjavik. That's what you smoke? Did you go to a tobacco store or like a 7-Eleven to get some... I just walked around and I had my cigar with me, dude. I oh. brought it from the States. Ah. Okay, I'm just was wondering. That if you same like... batch of Cubans that I've had. Yeah. So it's going to be given one of those like black and tans and shit. <laughs> but no. Swish your sweet. Yeah. <laughs> but um, that being in mind, if you're, you know, cigar smoking, what about, um, we talk about it too, now that it's all said and done. Oh my God, this is another fucking thing. I did corn. some kids smoking weed. Wow. You're where, in Reykjavik? Uh, I saw it in Reykjavik, and I also saw it in, in Paris. I guess it's the common world. I mean, you know, with grow kits these days, I mean, anybody, anything's possible. Uh, but um, this is a, sort of like a, a time mark video. Our travels and certain things have caused an end of an era, Corn, What do you mean? Remember, dude, we were talking about this fucking thing... In episodes 120 or 150 about this Icelandic, the, the European mm. tour. We joked around having like jackets made up for you, like, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, corn yeah. on the fucking, corn on Euro the yeah, corn European tour. It was fun, dude. That was, it's, now it's done. I loved Paris. I walked 13 miles in that city. Did you go to any bad areas? I tried to. It's hard. It's hard to find a bad area. There's plenty of areas where lots of Arabs. Yeah, I went to that to find falafel one time. Did you uh, go? How many, I, I didn't feel, you know. Did you go to every around these months? Did you go to all of them? No, it's impossible. No. But you went I by. I got a good view of the city. I got a good look at the city. I, I can't say I saw it all. No, no, I didn't see it all. But did you go to like the Momar? The, it's like the, up the hill from, I guess, the, the Notre Dame, I guess, in that area. We were staying... Uh, Moulin Rouge, did you see that? Yes, we were staying by the, uh, the Sacred Heart. Uh, Sacre-le-Cœur, or yeah. Sacre-le-Cœur. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. I can't pronounce that. We were staying near there. Uh, we walked from there to the Eiffel Tower. St. Germain, all that shit. Germain, all that crap. We did the, the Baton Death March all over the fucking place. Did you, did you guys go on 
the Champs Elysees. <laughs> yes, we did that as well. How many times were you your asses on Champs Elysees? Oh God. Was it an enjoyable street nowadays, or for the corn, or is it like cruising Le- Le- Gerard Avenue in Le- Le- uh, in La Jolla? Like, ah, eh, fuck these people. Is pretty it much, like, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the show I'm saying, like, oh, fuck I, I, I these people. I got the same feeling as Piccadilly uh, Circus, man. It's just like a, a never-ending shopping center. But did you like Harrods? I kind of enjoyed it because of the food court. I liked Harrods for one reason. What? One reason only. Many types of shit to see? Yeah. Okay. The range of bullshit. No, there's a lot of bullshit. And I mean, that whole <clears throat> shoe heaven. I could spend all day in shoe heaven. How big is shoe heaven? Shoe heaven is a whole floor. <sighs> nothing but women's shoes. And different makers of women's shoes. Wow. And these ridiculous contraptions called women's shoes. Wow. And I mean, I'm not a foot fetishist like certain people. Yes, we know. Breakfast before breakfast. But I do have an appreciation for shoes. I, you know what's funny? I do too. I do too. And I got a shoe story in my travels too. What was kind of interesting was that, and I walked many miles in these boots, my Danner boots that I got. Mm-hmm. I walked there and we, I said, oh, they got a Danner store here. And some guy said, how do you like your Danners? And I said, and then I started, we started talking. They're made in Portland, Oregon. <laughs> so I was wearing the shoe of the city. But uh, back on Corn's Herod's thing, it was I just, enjoyed it, dude. Is it still a store for the, the the populace? Because I remember there was like places where I can shop for clothes, like because it's like you know coal style pricing. And then you go on these certain floors that you know it's like oh god, five hundred dollar fucking Gucci bikini kind of shit. Is it still for the masses? Uh, can a normal person buy something at Harrods? Yeah, sure. It's still that way. It's still that way, but you know, there's also. That set's worth $120,000. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, at one point you can buy... I saw a tape dispenser. A tape dispenser. For 6,800 pounds. Wow. A tape dispenser, dude. <laughs> for scotch tape? For scotch tape, yeah. Oh, God. Was it like made out of wear material or just craft no, It was basically a big uh, billet of, of silver... And it's got this uh, marble little turny thing where you put the... Yeah, little, the spool. Yeah, and it's... Yeah, I mean, I can see the the markup in the materials. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And but to buy a... Six, but what kind of assholes buy 6,800 For a scotch tape. Uh, yeah, for a scotch tape dispenser. Yeah, like the teeth to cut the tape is like, you know, fucking like whale bone and shit. <laughs> it's just, just, just stupid, dude. Just stupid. You know, so... If ever, whoever watches this show... Although, the one thing I did find that was cheaper in, Iso- in uh, what do you call it, Herod's than anywhere else that I've seen? Liquor. No. Fancy shotguns. How? Oh, like Benelli's and shit? Yeah. You know, I didn't Fancy make it. That's in the sports... Guns. I think I did go to the sports... I, I don't remember so many years I've ago. I've priced fancy Berettas and those kind of field guns and... Uh, they can get into the thirty to thirty-five thousand dollar range here. How much were they there? What's the price? Mark? I mean, don't they need were somebody, starting but... at eight thousand pounds and topping off at twenty-eight thousand pounds. So you were talking about maybe a ten like percent cheaper than the average person. Well, I'm gonna say probably about a fifteen percent break on the stateside prices. Wow, instance, yeah. because they use that actually sporting, right? Mm-hmm. But they don't have any that shit drill out your lower receiver. No, and make no, that no, kind no, of no, crap, no. right? This is definitely something you put in your study to look cool. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. The people selling guns there, were they those guys that we get in our gun stores? Let me help you. Can I help you? No. You know? I don't know. That is, you know, the overly talk loud shit. No, not the military fetishists. Yeah. I like those guys sometimes. You get the, you get all the answers you ever need. In two oct- I mean, in two decibels, twenty decibels too loud, <laughs> and but you get it all. You, you get the those guys working at a porn store. Oh God, <laughs> her pussy's tight. 
You want that flashlight? You want the flashlight? I personally tried that. What color? What color flashlight you want? Yeah. Oh, you want the black one? I see. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking racist. (laughs) They stay away from it, you know. Just, but uh, no, you get the shy type. You get the the what's that guy's name? Uh, UFO captain's little friend. Oh yeah, yeah. He works at the porn stores. Did he ever work at a porn? No, he worked at a bookstore. He worked at a bookstore. Not a porn shop, though. He should have. He should have worked at a porn shop. It wouldn't have surprised me. And, uh... You know, <clears throat> I know this is supposed to be an episode of the travel porn, but on the UFO guy... I've that been is travel, dude. Yeah. I've been uh, to more porn stores with that guy... More, you know, adult bookstores with that guy for some odd reason than anybody. I don't understand how those places stay in business. I don't know how I understand getting to these places with another dude or another bloke. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, hey, let's go there. I've driven them there, too. <laughs> yeah, you don't drive. Wait, were you... Fish, you know, can we stop by F Street? Were you looking for a little bit of adventure there, dude? I don't know, dude. I don't know. It was one time we went, me and UFO character. Uh-huh. Uh, what was the two-on-one one action there? No, it was the one in, do you remember downtown one? Mm-hmm. We're there, and the owner, I guess, they were there, kind of, they looked like plain clothes, really nice, rich folk, right? Because there was like a limousine that dropped them off. They were pointing out, like me and him, that we were, we were if we were shoplifting, because we were talking to the clerk and pointing at us. I mean, they let us, I mean, we went, they didn't ask us anything, but it was kind of like one of those things that are, someone's going, are they shoveling? They look a little weird. And with the UFO guy, you know how there's certain nightclubs that me and you went to? There was one that's like, oh, uh, I could have seen Yeah, there. In the black jacket. With, you know, yeah. You it was, yeah. And it's like, I've been cool with the bar, the, the doorman before. It's like, hey, you know, and he didn't say anything. It's like the time he, he's like, hey. I think you're friends at the dorm room, but, you know, hey, how's it going, you know? Yeah, come on, and it'll be 20 bucks. I mean, that's, you know, we used to pay the cover, but, you know, they let you in. When I was like, you know, we're willing to pay, but you're getting that not talking to you kind of shit because they don't, they've talked to you before. They don't want to be uncool, but say, hey, dude, your buddy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I, I miss that guy. Yeah, that's the thing is that, and then, Late night in some park, just hearing this guy squawk. Yep. yep J Street Marina parked in some of the car, like, arguing with the guy about certain shit. Oh, shit. 13 minutes, we'll go, but come back right another one. Since the cigar is still, we're going to see the history. I mean, 